Hello Virgo, this is your girl Aqua Goddess coming to give you guys a quick general read. Keep in mind that this reading will be for past, present, future and it may or may not resonate with you. If you're interested in getting a personal reading, all of the information will be in the description box below. Also check the community page. I got crystal manifestation jewelry here. So if you're interested, you can just go ahead and send me an email. Donating to the channel, I do accept cash app, so you'll be able to see that information as well. Keep in mind that we are still doing our zodiac contest, so whatever zodiac sign watches my channel the most will be receiving bonus reads. So thank you guys so much for coming to my channel. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so that you'll be notified every time I do an upload. So I've already meditated over your energy, and we're going to go ahead and start here. Angels, ancestors, guides, please protect me and help me communicate the most clear messages with the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Return all negative energy back to sender a thousandfold, and anybody sending me love, much love and light to you. All right, spirit. So what is it that Virgo needs to know? Someone's already married. Yeah, so someone is already in a commitment in this particular scenario. They're already engaged or married to someone else. There's a sense of entanglement or some type of connection here. Tell me more, Spirit. So many cards. Somebody's very unbothered by a situation it's like they're just losing interest they're no longer caring about the connection at all definitely some disagreements or some repetitive cycles here somebody's asking themselves should they stay or should they go Somebody feels extremely drained. It could be an energy vampire in here. Definitely picking up a lot of depressing, heavy, draining energy. Yeah. So this is someone that you may have a, a mutual love with. You guys could definitely share a lot of values, a great sexual connection, a lot of chemistry here. But there's definitely some major choices that need to be made when it comes to somebody sharing their world with another person. And this is because there's already a commitment or some type of bondage with the third party energy here. This could be a father figure. Definitely picking up Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This could be someone that comes off as very caring and compassionate. Very intuitive individual. This person could already be married to someone or engaged or in a commitment. Yep, I'm getting confirmation here. Yeah, somebody is extremely emotionally immature. It's like they don't know how to treat somebody in this connection. There's a lack of presence. It's almost like they're there, but they're not there. Somebody definitely feels rejected or avoided or not heard when it comes to this water sign. I was feeling should I stay or should I go energy. So this is definitely, it's time to make a decision when it comes to something. It, whatever situation, whatever place you fall in into this story, um, it's just some time. You need some time to reevaluate some things. You, you need to go in hermit mode or somebody needs to go in hermit mode. 
because this is definitely a situation that should be left behind. There's already an existing commitment here. So it's nothing that you will be able or it's, it, it, there can't be a, a solid foundation built. Definitely picking up the tower energy. So something, there's going to be a breakthrough when it comes to something. Somebody wants to apologize. You might receive a phone call or a text message or something from this individual if they're not already blocked. They want you to forgive them. Um, they're very sorry. I do believe that this is going to be someone that may have ghosted you or this is something that might happen in the future. They don't know how to communicate that they're not... They don't know how to communicate the truth. Okay? They don't think that you'll understand what's going on. This is somebody who you've been built in memories with and they haven't been completely honest. This person is kind of emotionally attached because they already are aware that they're giving to something else. So it's like they're stringing you along, but they're not. It's almost like they're actually blocking like anything good that will come in. So this is a, some, a situation where somebody's blessings is being blocked. So if this person decides to stay in this connection, th their blessings will be blocked here. Because this is somebody that's not very mature. You can't have a very mature conversation with this individual. This could be the type of person that shuts down when you try to communicate your true feelings or is just kind of nonchalant or aloof. Yeah. Somebody definitely feels rejected by somebody that they felt at one point was their soulmate. Things could have moved kind of fast. You know, maybe there wasn't enough time to get to know the person that you were really dealing with or that they were dealing with, however it fits. But there's definitely a sense of immaturity. There could be an age difference. It's just someone is just not being heard. They're not being understood. They can't have a mature conversation. And it's just, you know, a situation where I feel like there should have been more time to get to know one another. And then the red flags would be exposed, you see. But this could have been somebody that you met around fall time. Could have been some time after you, you know, took a break from a relationship or whatever the case may be. Could have met somebody around fall time. Or you may possibly be meeting someone new around fall time here. Yeah, somebody was kind of uh, stingy when it comes to money. I'm picking up the energy of someone sharing a bank account with the spouse. And it's like... The third party energy wants to go out on dates, they want gifts, they want to feel special. But it's almost like somebody's on a restriction when it comes to money because of a mutual account or a joint account. That's what I'm feeling. Yeah. So there's definitely somebody here yearning for you. They're missing you. They're thinking about you. They're thinking about the good times you guys had, the memories. They're, they're looking at you as someone like, like they never met anybody like you. There's something very special about you. You have a lot of personality. Yeah. You're coming off as very down to earth here. Somebody that's very fun to be around. So this person could have definitely been bored in their connection. And they could have invited you on some type of romantic date, maybe to the park. Maybe you guys went out for lunch. You know, just somewhere where you could please one another or talk in peace or just show each other your feelings, be intimate, somewhere nice. Yeah, this person is very frustrated. They're like really in their head about shit. And it's because it's like... This could have been some shit where you kept repeating yourself. 
And then one day you just said, fuck it and left, right? This person is beating their self up because they didn't make the decisions that were required to make in order to bring things into fruition or in order to compromise or something of that sort. Yeah. Wow. So what I'm picking up here, guys, is that whoever their spouse was, um, if it's a wife, this wife was infertile, maybe, you know, I'm picking up energy of a miscarriage. So this could be somebody that, like, this could be a baby daddy issue. This might be your baby daddy or baby whatever. But this is somebody who wants kids. Okay? They could possibly have kids, but maybe their kids are older. I don't know. But I know that in this particular connection, they've been trying to have a baby. And they're not able to. So you could have kids if you're feminine energy and this person loves your kids. Or this could be you. But somebody loves kids. Somebody interacts with them. They're very happy with kids. And it's like their spouse or their partner or whoever they're married to or committed with, they can't have kids. Okay, so I'm definitely picking up the Empress Energy Reverse here. Which is somebody who's not able to birth ideas, children. It's just an infertile lack type of energy. Definitely could be a manipulator here. All right, what else for the sign of Virgo spirit? You could definitely be seeing things from a new perspective, Virgo. You're rejecting a lot of things right now being very particular on the offers that you do accept. Yeah, definitely see you walking away from a situation and being happy afterwards. So this is definitely like something that you had to put a lot of work in for. Maybe you guys are picking up extra time at work or just working really hard on the project. You're mastering something here. You're definitely going through a healing process here. Yeah. You guys got Leo energy coming out. So you could be dealing with the Leo or have Leo on your chart. But this is very strong, courageous energy. Very powerful, empowering energy. So you just definitely are coming off of somebody creative. You're creatively doing things to accomplish your goals. You're being very bold when it comes to the, the seeds that you're planting here. But you definitely are, um, you have some accomplishments here that you're going to, you're going to be reaping the rewards for your efforts. There's definitely a fresh start. Something's going to go in your favor, especially if it's in regards to court. You definitely got a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, and yo, and yo. This person wants to start trouble. This is somebody you would consider a drama queen or king. They see that you're happy and free, right? Right? You showing yourself a lot of a, a lot of self love here. What you don't see, Virgo, is that somebody doesn't want things to end. You may have already intuitively picked this up through telepathic communication, because I feel a real strong tug on your energy when it comes to this individual. So they're definitely keeping tabs or telepathically communicating with you. Somebody's hearing songs that reminds them of the other person. Yeah, somebody cannot focus here. If you look at this car very closely, it's like they're out. They're supposed to be having a good time, eating, drinking, talking, vibing, right? This person is in their head. They're in their head, 
they can't focus on what's going on in the present because they're too busy replaying things that happened in the past. Memories. You know, this person is just so confused right now. They don't know how to fix things. 1515, look up angel number 1515. They don't know how to fix things. <clears throat> yeah, you all are practicing a lot of self-love. You could be spending uh, time in your room or at home. Um, you guys are definitely making it very comfy for yourself. Some of you all are meditating or getting into spirituality. I'm also seeing that you guys really like socks. So somebody that I'm speaking to right now, you guys really like socks. All different kind of socks. You could have thousands of pairs of socks. Yeah. But you guys are definitely loving on yourself right now. Like I said. And you're doing it just for you. Because you know you deserve it. Yeah. But this person is feeling so... You can't make this shit up here. <clears throat> this person is feeling so shitty. Like everything is going haywire in their fucking life. But this is literally their karma. Every hor You know, it's literally their karma for just doing all this bullshit and lying. But they definitely want you to forgive them. This person is fucking sorry and fucking pathetic. Okay? They want your forgiveness. Alright, spirit. What else for Virgo? Yeah, some of you guys are definitely getting into spirituality more, getting right with yourself, maybe meditating more. You're definitely hustling, so you, you definitely get into the money, still going to work every day. You ain't tripping on that shit. Spirit said this is the truth. Some of you guys could be tapping into my girl, Erica Badu. Um, that's what's up. That's my baby. Yeah, but yeah, y'all are really just stepping in y'all power, trusting y'all intuition when it comes to this shit. You're not letting shit stop your money, you know? It's like you're not getting in an emotional state to where the shit is really stopping your money. You see what I'm saying? And you reject them bullshit that's going to have you in your head all the time. You know, if it makes you feel in prison, it's not something, you don't want that shit. You see what I'm saying? You're not about to be in your head about nobody. Like, you're not confused. You got a lot of shit going on for yourself. Wow. Spirit, you can't make this up. So, first of all, you guys got the Three of Pentacles. You have the Empress card. And you have the Queen of Pentacles. So, the Three of Pentacles just speaks on you working really hard you know you got good teamwork you got collaboration you're building something you're coming together you're reconstructing something right and you're bringing something to life right with the empress card here so you are very empowered you're very beautiful or handsome you definitely stand out you definitely about your business and your money very stable grounded energy down to earth energy. If you're a mother, you're someone that definitely takes care of your kids. You got a lot of shit going on for yourself. And you just don't have time to be dealing with anybody immature, okay? But that is the reading for you, my loves. I hope that you enjoyed it. 1919, that's another angel you'll need to look, another angel number you'll need to look up. Let me know if you need anything from me. The information will be in the description box below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel so that you'll be notified for your future reads. Talk to you soon. Peace.